Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making delicious oatmeal cream pies. So let's get started. First off, set your oven to 350. We're also gonna line two baking sheets with parchment paper or sill pads. Now into a medium bowl, I'm adding one and a quarter cups or 150 grams of all-purpose flour. I'm also adding in two thirds of a cup or 70 grams of quick oats. This gives your cookies a wonderful texture. And if you haven't had oatmeal cream pies, they are the most amazing cookie sandwich. You're gonna love these. To puff these up, I'm adding three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. This is gonna react with the acid and the molasses, puff things up and give you a wonderful texture. Also three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Grab a whisk, we're gonna whisk this up. Just distribute all those ingredients. Now it's time to grab your stand mixer or a hand mixer out in a big bowl. One cup or 113 grams of room temperature unsalted butter into our mixer. I'm gonna cream this up. That just means you're mixing it on the medium speed for 30 seconds or so until it's nice and creamy. Basically, if your butter is a little bit on the cool side, you need to break it up. And if it's on the warm side, it'll just cream up instantly and you're fine. Now, this is three quarters of a cup of dark brown sugar that's been packed in, 165 grams, but... Ah. <laughs> it turns into a brick when you pack it, so you really want to just break it up with your hands and make sure there's no lumps and clumps. Along with a quarter cup or 50 grams of granulated sugar, and for some amazing depth of flavor, I'm also adding in a tablespoon of molasses. A little goes a long way here, so you really only need one tablespoon or 15 mils. Pop that back onto the mixer, and we're gonna mix this up on medium for about five minutes until it's light and fluffy. And yes, you'll be scraping the bowl down. To balance out all this flavor, I'm adding in half a teaspoon of salt, Time for one large room temperature egg. And we're gonna scrape that bowl down. This just looks plain crazy. It's like a little bit of egg on top with a lot of butter on the bottom. Not gonna work. Keep mixing until it's nice and smooth. That looks so much better already. I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla. I just want you to see what the batter looks like because it's so different. The color is totally changed, and if I put my fingers through it, which I won't, it's very soft now. Now with the mixer on low, I'm gonna gradually add in my dry mixture. Just give it a chance to mix in. I would mix this until almost combined, then use your spatula to finish it off. This looks good. I can see some flower streaks here and there, but by using my spatula at the end, I know it won't be overmixed. Use your spatula, just fold it together, and really the flour should disappear in an instant. Grab your lined baking sheets as well as a one and a half tablespoon triggered scoop, and we're gonna get to work. Thanks to all that molasses and brown sugar, these cookies have a ton of flavor, but as a result, they'll also spread. Give them about two inches between each scoop. Normally, I don't really care if the cookies are exactly the same size, but because we're sandwiching them, this triggered cookie scoop is really handy. You get consistent cookies each time. If we're gonna bake our cookies one sheet at a time, 10 minutes at 350, the edges will be set, the centers will be puffy but look a little bit underdone, and if you like a chewy cookie, you can underbake them, it'll be totally great. In you go. While my cookies are baking, I'm making the easiest but most delicious cream filling for them. I need one half of a cup of room temperature butter along with a nice pinch of salt. Salt is so important in any dessert. It really gives you a little bit of balance and just takes things from being sweet and flat to having a wonderful flavor. All right, I'm gonna mix this butter up for about three minutes until it is nice and fluffy. This frosting needs a ton of air pumped into it so it has that creamy, amazing consistency. If you're using a stand mixer, it's basically the minimum amount of material you need to mix it up. So, scrape that bowl down. Once your butter is nice and creamy, we're gonna add two cups of powdered sugar in slowly, along with two to three tablespoons of cream. Little bit of both, <laughs> just back and forth. I'm also adding in a teaspoon of vanilla. These cookie sandwiches or oatmeal cream pies have so much flavor packed in, and you can see they come together in less than half an hour. No chill time needed. 
We're really just adding the cream in for the consistency. So if you want it to be a bit smoother and slack, add that extra tablespoon in. This does not look great. <laughs> so it needs to whip up. So you really pump a lot of air in. And I'm gonna show you the color difference because it's gonna be kind of crazy. But first we scrape the bowl down. Everything's incorporated. I'm gonna beat this on medium for about five minutes until it is light and fluffy. It's time for a scrape down, but you have to see this color change. It's wild. Look at this. So white and fluffy, even with all that vanilla added. This is the original color. The only difference is the air we beat in. Scrape this down, mix it up, and we're gonna get to assembling. Once your cookies are cool, you can assemble them, and it's so easy. A little spoonful of cream in the middle, and you could be done, but I want them to look pretty, so I'm piping them up. I have a large round tip, it's a 1A, and they're gonna look great. Before you assemble your cookies, take a quick look and try and pair the ones that match as closely as possible. They're all gonna taste the same, but they'll look just a little bit nicer if they're perfect little sandwiches. Grab a cookie, and you're gonna pipe some cream underneath. The last step is to sandwich and press. Oh my gosh, these cookies are so soft. Your cookies can be stored in an airtight container for up to five days. They'll be delicious. All assembled and ready to enjoy. The only thing we need to do is take a bite. Oh my God. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> it's really good. That cream filling with all the flavors in the cookies is a perfect pairing. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and if you like this video, check out my cookie playlist.